dear and loving son John, your good friend, the schoolmaster Pat McNamara's, so good as to write these words down. Your brothers have all gone to find work in England. The house is so empty and sad. The crop of potatoes is sorely infected. A third to a half of them bad. And your sister Bridget and Patrick O'Donnell are going to be married in June. Kill Kelly Island, 18 and 70, my dear and loving son John. Hello to your missus and to your four children, may they grow healthy and strong. And Michael has got in a wee bit of trouble, I suppose he never will learn and because of the dampness there's no turf to speak of and now we have nothing to burn and Bridget is happy you named a child for her and now she's got six of her own you say you found work but you don't say what Kilkelly Island, 18 and 80, dear Michael and John, my sons, I'm sorry to give you the very sad news that your dear old mother has gone. We buried her down at the church in Kilkelly, your brothers and Bridget there. You don't have to worry. She died very quickly. Remember her in your prayers. And it's so good to hear that Michael's returning with money he's sure to buy land. For the crop has been poor and the people are selling that they can kill Kelly Island 18 and 90 my dear and loving son John I suppose that I must be close on to 80 it's 30 years since you're gone because of all of the money you sent me, I'm still living out on my own. Michael has built himself a fine house, and Bridget's daughters have grown. Thank you for sending your family picture, the lovely young women. Say that you might even come for a visit. What joy to see you again. Kill Kelly Island, 18 and 92. My dear brother John, I'm sorry that I didn't write sooner to tell you that. Your father passed on. He was living with Bridget. She says he was cheerful and healthy right down to the end. I should have seen him play.
play with the grandchildren of Pat McNamara, your friend. And we buried him alongside of your mother down at the Kilkelly churchyard. He was a strong and a feisty old bugger, considering his life was so hard. And it's funny the way he kept talking about you He called for you at the 